three, two. Hello, Rise's PDO families. This is Miss Jamie. I'm here at Vertical Journey Martial Arts Studio today with my husband, TJ. This is our Taekwondo studio that we own here. And uh, recently, because of all the shutdown stuff, we've gone to full online classes for everybody at home. But we wanted to make a special video just for Brad's kids here today in the studio. And to help us, our kiddos, two of them. This is Becca. Hi. And this is Michael. Hi. Our three-year-old Caleb isn't available right now. But um, we're going to have a lot of fun today. And uh, Mr. TJ is going to take your kids through some really fun exercises. And so I'm going to hand it over to him. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys, are you excited today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to say something to the parents so that they know what's going on. So, guys, um, parents, as you guys are getting ready for this, a couple of things you need to know. Number one, if you're going to do this video with us, which I really encourage you to do, then I would make sure that you've got plenty of room around you. Maybe you go to your living room or something, maybe push the chairs back in the dining room or something like that so you've got plenty of room to move around because we are going to do some exercise today, but we're going to do it in fun ways that the kids will enjoy. We've got some special games to play. Um, that are really great for, for young bodies and young minds. You're going to need two items, or I recommend that you have two items to use for a couple of the drills that we have. Today I'm going to be using this um, plastic ring. You don't have to have this exactly, but if you have some tape or something that you can mark off a small square on the floor, that would be really helpful because you're going to use it for some body awareness and some counting exercises here in a little bit while we're doing some, some other physical stuff. So you might go ahead and grab that. The other thing that you might want to have is a, um, a small pillow. I have these lovely little square pads from Century that have straps on the back. They make them really easy to hold. But um, just a small like throw pillow or even just um, uh, like a pillow from your bed that you fold in half will work great for these, for these drills. So I encourage you to go ahead and pause the video and go grab those items now. Okay. I'm gonna assume that you've gone ahead and paused the video. You went and grabbed those items. You've got plenty of room around you and you're in a space where you can move around. Parents, do try to do these exercises with your kids. It makes it so much more fun if they see you engaged in it. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah! Awesome job. Okay, kids, did you guys hear my kids? They said, yes, sir, when I asked them a question. If your mom or dad asked you to do something, I want you to say, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. All right, okay, guys, here we go. Get ready and stand up, please. Yes, sir. Ooh, that was perfect. Mr. Michael, can I have you move over one square, please? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to start with a little warm-up. We're going to start by learning some stances. Okay, kiddos, these are some stances that we use in the Taekwondo martial art. Okay, we're going to start with our Chomi stance. That means our hands are in front of our where our butt would be in nice little loose fists here, and our feet are apart, and our knees are slightly bent. Very good. This is what we call our ready stance. Okay, the next one we're going to learn is our Chayot. Attention stance. Feet are together. Eyes are straight ahead. Back is nice and straight, knees are straight, and our hands are by our side, not moving. We're gonna handstand just like a statue, very good. And the last one we're gonna learn is our horse dance. Ready, horse dance. Very good, our toes are still aimed forward, our knees are bent, and our hands are right by our hips. Mr. Michael, that's a little bit too wide. You don't wanna to try to do the split here, just bend your knees, sit down into a little bit, Miss Becca. Very good, that's a great horse dance. Okay, let's try those again, ready, and chomp me. Very good, and try it. And horse dance. Excellent job. Okay, go ahead and relax for me. Guys, we're going to play a fun game with this. This is called wiggle stances. This is how we get our bodies warmed up and get our blood flowing just a little bit while we work on our stances and our focus. Okay, are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Do you remember the game? Yes, sir. Okay, so when I say wiggle, you're going to go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle as crazy as you can. You're going to stay in your spot, so you're not going to go all over the room, right? Yes, sir. Great. And then whenever I say a stance out loud, you're going to jump into that stance as fast as you can, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm super excited to play this game with you. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Get set. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All over the place. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Super wiggle, super wiggles. And to me. Try to snap to that stance as fast as you can right now. Wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Super wiggle, super wiggle, super wiggle. And turn your arm. Wow, that was good. Okay, ready? Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get that whole body moving. Shake that head. Shake those feet. Try to stay in your square. Stay in your spot. Ready? And horse stance. Good job. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Turn over. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. To me. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shake, 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 shake. All over the place. And horse dance. Oh, turn to face me. There we go. Excellent job. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is some stretches. Okay, I want you guys to reach up to the sky as high as you can. Grab a cloud. Oh, 
grab it. Now pull it down, keep your knees straight, and wash those feet. Wash, wash, wash. Very good, now throw your cloud away. Whoop. Okay, spread your feet apart a little bit. Now there's an apple tree right over here. I want you guys to reach over for that apple tree. Oh, one apple, two apple, three apples, four apples. Now reach way over to the other side and feed the horse. One apple, two apple, three apple. Oh, maybe I want to keep this one for me. Should I keep it for me? Yeah. No, I'm going to feed it to the horse. Four apples, very good. All right, now reach back down in the middle and sweep up the apple cores. Sweep them up. Very good. Okay, stand up. Okay, take one hand, stick it up above your back, above your head, and put it up behind, down behind your back and pat yourself on the back. Say, good job, me. Good job, me. Okay, then take the other hand and reach behind your head. Grab your elbow and pull, pull, pull to stretch that tricep. Very good. That's exactly right in the back of your arm. Okay. Now go ahead and relax that side. Take the other hand, stick it behind your back and say, Good job, Jack. That's right. Grab that elbow and pull it across. Don't forget to breathe. Very good and relax. Shake those arms out for me. Okay, guys, we're going to play another game now that's super, super fun. It's called Jog the Neighborhood. This is an awesome way to engage your child's imagination and their body at the same time. Okay, let's see. No moral? Mm, okay, we'll do no moral. So one of the ways that we do this is we pretend we're jogging through the world of the gnomes. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready to be shrunk? Yes. Ready and poof. Okay, you've been shrunk. Okay, start jogging. We're going to jog through the world of the gnomes. Here we go. We're jogging along, going through the gnome world. And, oh, there's a little mushroom. We have to hop over it. Hop. Keep jogging, keep jogging. Make sure you stay in your square. Pick those knees up. And hop. Very good. Okay, there's a bunch of little, little mushrooms. Let's pick our knees up and go over. Knees over the shrooms, knees over the shrooms. Very good, okay. Just regular jogging. Now we're jogging through the gnome cave. And there's a bunch of stalactites. So we have to dodge the stalactites. Dies the stalactites. Dies the stalactites. Dies the stalactites. Okay, and we're jogging along, and we're jogging along. We're, we're outside in the grass now, but all of a sudden we hear behind us the hoo hoo of an owl. It's gonna come get us. Run away from the owl! Run, 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 run as fast as you can! Go, 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 go! Don't let him catch you! Super fast, no feet! Run, 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 and stop! Say, whoo, that was crazy. Okay, and we're jogging along. And we're jogging along, and we look around us. And we can't see because the grass is too tall. So we're going to climb that dandelion over there. Okay, reach up. Climb the dandelion. Pick those knees up high. Reach up as high as you can. Reach, 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 reach. You want to get, engage your whole body here. Reach, reach, reach. Get to the top of the dandelion. Look around you. Say, whoa, what a view. <laughs> what a view. All right, we're going to jump down. Spider-Man jump. Ready? One, two, three, and jump. Land like Spider-Man. Very good. And stand up. Excellent job. And keep jogging. And jogging. And jogging. Oh no, somebody turned the hose on. Now there's a river in the yard. Dive in and swim. Dive. Swim, 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 swim. Paddle, 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 paddle. Keep those feet, Michael, keep those feet. Very good, and stand up. And shake yourself off. Ready, and poof. You're big again. Was that fun? Yeah. All right, that was our adventure in No More. We can also do that with our day-to-day -day things in our neighborhood. We can climb trees. We can jump over houses. We can imagine all sorts of fun stuff with that exercise. That's one of our favorites here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on some ninja blocks, okay? Go ahead and go into your horse dance, please. Yeah. Very good. Okay. With our ninja blocks, we're going to do a high block. Everybody show me a high block. Perfect job right above your head. Not scratching your head. <laughs> right above your head. Okay, and the other side, block. Excellent job. Okay, put those hands down by your hips. Excellent job. Now, normally in our classes, we count in Korean, but today we're gonna count in English to help you guys out, okay? So every time I count, you're gonna throw, boom, one of those blocks up and you're gonna alternate hands. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm super excited. Here we go, ready in one, two, three, four. Can you guys count with me? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, put those hands down. Shake them out just a little bit. Right along your hips. Very good. Hold that horse stance. We're going to work those quads today. Get that energy out. Here we go. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to scoop the ice cream. Everybody take your right, your left hand and stick it out beside you. That's your right hand, buddy. Stick your other hand out. Very good. Now grab your ice cream scoop. We're going to scoop the ice cream. Oh, but it's bad ice cream. Dump it out. 
Okay, now what we're going to do with the other hand. Put the other hand out. Grab the ice cream scoop. Scoop the ice cream. Very good. Oh, it's bad ice cream. Dump it out. Very good. These are called outside blocks. And using the ice cream scoop is one way that we show people how to do it right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Every time I count, you're going to do an outside block. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Put your hand out. Ready? And one, ha. two, ha. three, ha. four, ha. five. Ha. Okay, what these guys are doing is called key up. You guys can call it ninja yells, whatever you want to. They're a nice loud yell that keeps their, their, uh, their voice going with their body and it helps to expel some of that extra air and make sure you're breathing deeply. Here we go. Keep going. Ready? And one, ha. two, ha. three, ha. four, ha. five, ha. six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, shake those arms out. Excellent job. Go ahead and sit down the line in front of me, please. Show courtesy. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we're going to do something called circle kicks now. Okay, guys, the way circle kicks work is that you need that ring or that tape or whatever you found to use as a marker. I like these rings because it helps the kids to stay in a certain area and work on their balance and their body awareness, okay? So I'm gonna set that ring down right here and I'm gonna grab my little pillow over here. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna stand up one at a time, they're gonna hop into that ring and they're gonna kick that, that pillow four times as we count together. Are you ready, Miss Becca? Yes, sir. Go ahead and stand up, please. Yes, sir. Okay, ready and four kicks as I count them. Hands up. Ready and one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Very good. Back in the line. Excellent job. Go ahead and stand up, Mr. Michael. Ready and one, ha. two, ha. three, ha. four. Ha. Make sure you count with me. Use your numbers. Go ahead and stand up, Miss Becca. Ready and one, ha. two. Don't step out of the ring. Three, three four. four. Okay, moving the ring is cheating. Come on now. <laughs> All right, Mr. Michael, stand up, please. Excellent job. Put your feet in those rings. Ready and one, ha. two, ha. three. Ha. Four. Okay, I want you to do it again, but I want you to count with me this time. Parents, this is a great opportunity for you to work on your counting with your littles. Are you ready, Mr. Michael? So you're going to say the numbers after me. Ready? And one, two, two three, three, four. Excellent job. Back to the line. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Last time, Miss. Oh, careful. Last time, Miss Becca. Ready? And one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, the next drill we're going to do is our last drill for today. It's super fun. Go ahead and go back to your squares, guys. Thank you so much. Sit in your learning stances, please. Awesome. Okay, the next drill we're going to practice is called the panther pounce, okay? These guys are going to start in our panther position right here with their knees bent and their hands by their sides right here. Some people call this a frog position. Usually a frog position is here with your hands in the middle, but our panther position is here. Whenever I come up to them and say go, they're going to stand up as fast as they can and they're going to palm strike. Okay, guys, go ahead and stand up for me real quick. We're going to work on that palm strike. You're going to put your hands together just like this. You're going to pull your fingers back a little bit and then tap, tap, tap. Perfect. When you guys do a palm strike, you want to hit with this part of your hand down at the bottom. It's very important that you don't hit with your fingers because your fingers bend and that can hurt your wrist. And we don't want to hurt anybody today. Right, guys? Yes, sir. So you're going to hit with your palm, right? You're going to pull it back just like a bow and an arrow or an arrow and a bow. And you're going to shoot it forward. Boom! Just like that with a super loud. Hi-ya! Hi that's right. Okay, here we go. Get in your panther pounce positions. Okay, are you ready, Mr. Michael? Yes, sir. Ready and go! Oh, that was great! Give me a high five! Awesome, very good. Hop down, squat back down. Are you ready, ready Miss Becca? Yes, sir. Go! Oh, great job, back down. Here we go, Mr. Michael, it's your turn. Go! All right, good job. Okay, Miss Becca, get ready. Go! Boom, great job. Okay, last time, here we go. Okay, Miss Becca, ready to go. Awesome job. Okay, guys, that's our Panther Pounce game. You guys can go ahead and sit back down in your learning stance, please. Thank you so much for participating today. You guys did a great job. Give me a high five. All right, excellent job. So, parents, I hope you guys enjoyed doing this with us. Kids, I hope you guys enjoyed it even more. Please feel free to reuse this video as much as you want. And we hope to be um, seeing you guys come by and watch what we do here at the studio sometime in the future. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. Bye.